Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my review of Daredevil Yellow by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. You can see all the beautiful cover art here. So this is a uh, 2001, um, going to, to yeah, late 2001 uh, miniseries. Um, uh, for people who have not heard of Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, they were an enduring uh, team. Um, there's this thing you do where you put the ampersand in between uh, two people's names, you know, that and sign. And uh, what it means is these people are, you know, partners. It's not just one, two disconnected people. They're, they're, they're a, a team. They had worked together since like 1990 at DC, uh, Challengers of the Unknown. They did um, a bunch of, you know, kind of like themed, uh, a lot of... A lot of things are not just a story, but a theme. So they do like Batman, The Long Halloween, Superman for All Seasons. And then when they went over to uh, Marvel, they started doing these color themed um, uh, books. This is Daredevil Yellow. Yellow, of course, being his original costume, but it's also he's fear and yellow is, or you know, the, the man without fear and yellow is the color of cowardice. And, I honestly, I always just thought they were gimmicks. Uh, so the deal about Jeff Loeb is, I never really liked him that much um, uh, because he was one of those guys who you kind of got his deal. He was kind of, well, he was he came from Hollywood. The that was the big news, you know, uh, when he first started writing. They're like, this is a guy. He's coming from Hollywood. He wrote Teen Wolf and Commando, um, but it, those were like years prior, and it's, it was just kind of like. What? Well, he's got Hollywood connections. So he would write this stuff, and it was always good. You know, with that kind of silent pause. Like, that's good, and I just I just feel like this is a guy who, he got the Frank Miller lighter, but he didn't have the Frank Miller lighter fluid, so he's just, he's just always just, just flicking, just flicking. You get a little spark every now and then. Now, that being said, he's not bad really ever. I've never read anything that's bad. But it starts to get pretty predictable. Um, that being said, if you haven't read 12 of his trade paperbacks, you know, the first couple ones, you're, you're, it's kind of exciting, especially at that time. He was a little bit different. Right now, what this look, this feels like is the first half of a Netflix season. Uh, but, you know, 20 years ago, this was quite innovative. So, the uh, artist is uh, Tim Sale, who is very, very, very much of an acquired taste. He, as you can see, his his stuff is kind of sloppy and wonky, but you don't enjoy Tim Sale's books because, you know, the face he does looks like a Jim Lee face or is super cool. What you go is for stuff like this, for environments and mood, and he's very, very, very good uh, at that. Even just stuff like this, just seen a, a dorm room um, and you can just kind of just like just go in and just see all the different things the shoes on the thing that they've got a little teddy bear cup of tea boxing gloves back there um, it's uh, kind of hard to explain right now when people just tend to trace photographs or just apply a but back then this was really really cool and I I think it still looks great again one of the problems I have with uh, Jeff Loeb is he kind of invented the Netflix, Marvel Netflix writing style 20 years before the shows existed. So you're like superheroes and then you get like a whole scene of his dad shaking up ketchup and he spills it on a woman, which leads to, okay, fine. So uh, big blocky characters, really ugly faces, um, good uh, compositions. And just stuff like this, you know, it's a famous uh, boxing photo and he redid it. Uh, good acting on the characters. Besides that, <laughs> like I said, it's, um, I've read, I think the only thing I really liked was uh, Batman the Long Halloween. Actually, I liked Challengers of the Unknowns. So it's just stuff like this is just fun. And so in every, oh hey guys, check out Osmosis Jones. Every body needs a hero he's one cell of a guy and his partner's a real pill i don't get it 
So anyway, so uh, it's recounting the origin of Daredevil with a really, really wonky um, framing device in that he misses Karen, who had died in the Kevin Smith written run, Kevin Smith, Joe Casada. Um, so Foggy says, if you miss her, write her letters. She's not Santa Claus, Foggy. So that was just kind of, like I said, a lot of... Jeff's stuff is really, really basic, honestly, kind of borderline TV style writing with like a gimmick on a gimmick. So he has the color gimmicks, which I don't know, like they kind of do the origin right there and then they kind of run out of steam. So it's like, uh, here's a, I mean, that looks cool. But then we end up like doing this whole storyline with the, uh, the owl and it's just like, dude, the owl was never cool. The owl was never, ever cool. <laughs> so, um, you know, just uh, going back in the earlier days when he was more of like a fun, like Spider-Man-esque uh, superhero. I'm, try I'm trying to find all the cool double page. That's actually kind of a boring double page spread. I love all these old ads, man. Like, I love them. This is back when I was a Marine, so I remember flipping through this at the freaking PX. Um, look at how women used to be in Marvel Comics, like, 18 years ago. Oh my gosh. So many things have changed. So, uh, yeah, so right now I'm just showing you art, trying to just show the cool bits. Like I said, it's, it's solid. Um, it's fine. <laughs> Would I say it's better than most stuff right now? Yeah, yeah, in general. It, it, it all fits together in a story, and they all fit together well. They're very solid. There's good emotional moments, but uh, I always just saw the TV and, you know, the, the screenwriter uh, in um, Jeff Loeb a little bit too much. Uh, that being said, I usually, you know, I don't like uh, Tim Sale uh, style artist, but I, I like his stuff. I think I really like the environments a lot. Um trying to find if there's any good ones in here okay i think I, uh, so i think i covered them all so anyway uh thanks for watching oh so um if anyone wants this i'll mail it to you <laughs> i'm really excited about working my way through my backlog you know we had uh, lots of cool people who uh uh sent these in and uh, uh sharing is caring so go check it out uh, uh, <laughs> you can check it out by just e emailing me at diversityincomics at gmail.com so uh, the plan is to work through this backlog and I'm doing pretty good I don't think I can finish by the end of December but shortly afterwards I can and the plan is to basically just keep doing the thing whenever I have a graphic novel or a full mini series, I'll uh, let you all know and uh, basically say first person to email me at diversityincomics at gmail.com. I'll send it. No, oh, that is for America, unfortunately, because media mail allows me to send all of this for like $3. Whereas if I send it to Australia, it's going to be like freaking 20. Um, but uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. You're funding original content and an original lawsuit. And I will have a, uh, another uh, uh, new comic review up later today. Thanks. Bye.